Hey beauties, welcome back to the Global Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Today I will do cutting and modeling summer open dress for myself. As you can tell, the fabric is amazing. When I first saw it, I immediately realized that I need a dress. 81% of cotton, 19 flax. The fabric is dense but not hot. The dress will be open. The color is dark beige with beige and black shades. So I drew such a dress before, only a little more authentic. But in the end, I changed my mind. The dress will be neat and pretty. Here's the undercut. On the chest and slightly down. It has a slightly concave shape. There are two darts from it and a slot on one side. I will cut a slot on both sides and then just cut it off from one side. Cutting all front parts separately and cutting this plight of only one side is too difficult. So I'll do it differently. I used to do everything in the simplest way. I want the dress to resemble a sundress, but still be a dress. Therefore the neckline is deep and white. We have very hot weather here in my city, so when you get dressed you immediately want to undress. That is why you need something with maximum of breathable fabric. Let me remind you that the dress resembles a sheet dress. Here there will be an undercut and two darts from it. A very comfortable model. This is how you show the figure. One seam at the back and maybe there will be two grooves. Since I don't want this undercut to go too far, I offset the side seam. I just draw parallel lines. I don't like it when the side seams go back. You might want pockets or side slots. It's okay, you can do this. Deepen by one centimeter, extend. One hundred twenty centimeters shoulder, and I mark the length at which I will cut. I don't have a rectangle under my hands, so I check the right angle with a clean sheath. We extend the center of the back to the length we need. Knowing my back, in this place everything is always the same for me. In these lines, we need to extend the side seam. My tights are narrower than the chest and therefore this part falls out. A little more needs to be narrowed. One centimeter. I don't like it when the bottom is too simple. The shelf and back are already of the design length. The side seam is correctly positioned. Now I will cut and show everything. 
What does too often used base mean? Like it's already covered in holes, but it helps me a lot. That's why I like it. We cut out our pattern and start modeling on it. I have a certain style of work. When I model, I only think about modeling. I do not think about sewing or what will happen next. I focus only on a specific action. And that's the key of my success. No need to be distracted. When the mind is in order and thoughts are clean, sewing will be perfect. Perfectly. This is a deep armhole. The side seam has shifted. It doesn't matter where your side seam is relative to the armhole. The main thing is not to evaluate the basic sewing rules. I'm not sure if I should leave my back like this. Um, no, I will not. From the hips, I taper a little. When you taper along the thigh line, you should make sure that the line is beautiful. Back, the groove is very close. I'll do it a little to the side. Don't repeat after me here. You should decide what to do by yourself. That's very beautiful. Center back, seam. Front center, fold. I don't cut this one out yet. Through the top of the chest. I transfer a horizontal undercut 
at right angles to the center of the front, better 2 mm higher than lower. I drew a straight line from the center. Our main goal is a beautiful line. After that, we take this one line from under the chest, cut off and close the breast groove. This is what the breast groove looks like. It took an exotic form. Here we got a corner. This is the shape of the breast. Remove 7 mm from here. Unnatural slope of the shoulder will level it up a bit. Now we start working with the cut out, depth 14 cm. Probably better to take 13 with a half centimeters. This line is parallel to this line. These are the two parallel lines. The neckline will be 22 cm wide. which means 11 centimeters. I put a mark of 11 centimeters and in this direction I tried to make the lines parallel. Here I want to open 5 centimeters. No, I think better take four with a half centimeters and now I connect these two points with a straight line. On the back I transfer the undercut into the neck. It takes a few minutes to model the dress. I transfer the groove. Now we are finally putting in order everything related to the neckline. And shoulders. We fold our shoulders. We'll come back here. Here we can see our pattern, in our hands we have a marker. Now you have to do everything your own way. Please don't follow me, you don't have to repeat after me all the time. In my case these points should match. Shoulder width 6 cm. Smooth lines. Nothing can be taken here and from here you can go up. Okay. 
Now I cut it all off. If I wanted to make this line a little more oblique, then I could widen the cut. This is also correct. handsomely. Please don't forget that you need to sign everything. Center of the front, fold, sign everything and there will be no problems for you ensuing. The undercut will be small. The back is ready. Nothing has changed in the armhole. You also need to cut it off here, armhole. Now you need to build the darts in front. If I make these darts in this place, then it will be from the chest. You don't have to sign this part, because it is clear that this is a side. Now I extend this line with the ruler here and cut it off. If you take into account that the hem is 5 cm, then you need to put a mark for the slots. The slot will be 5 cm. The middle piece I'm holding in my hand will be double wide fold. The dress will be open, not boring at all. On the side of the slot, modeling is ready. It remains only to cut. The dress will be resemble a sundress, open city dress for hot days. I think today we will end here. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram platform. The link will be down below. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye!